You know, we knew as COVID-19 hit and the pandemic hit that we were in a position that, you know, we needed to drastically uh, change our services in order to meet people where they're at and address, um, you know, this toxic drug supply and the fact that there is little to no services still available for people. Um, and this is a space that we've created for people that use substances that can make conscious decisions about their own health. So in terms of the CTS, when the pandemic hit, like many of us, we were forced to reduce our service space for distancing and everything else. Um, and that meant that people, we weren't able to reach as many people as we were. That led to a conversation with many partners around the homelessness issue. So that was really the genesis of piloting uh, an integrated care hub, the ICH where our consumption treatment services site became part of a 24-7 drop-in, harm reduction, accessible, low barrier model. Yeah, it's really important to be able to meet the clients where they're at in their journey, whether that's you know consuming substances or on the path to recovery. And the consumption and treatment site offers a spot where they can do that, where there's wraparound care, where there's paramedics to immediately deal with uh, an overdose or other medical emergency, as well as the community support workers that are there. Where same day services, we can get somebody in for GA for methadone, suboxone, or subluxate right away. Um, we can get them into, you know, um, long-term counseling, we can get a gains assessment done for them, we can do a housing referral, we can do all these types of things, we can do a referral to employment within the space as well too. Um, so really building that relationship with, with people and really kind of getting to the core of, of what they need. So Justine and crew have worked tirelessly to engage our clients and communities to ask them what's most needed. Um, and so that results in the service that we have right now. And that that's a massive part of why it has been successful because the program was designed based on the needs of the clients expressed from them. And it results in a low barrier, very loving, connecting model. We've been able to show people like their value and their worth, right? And it's like we employ people in the space as well, too, upstairs and downstairs. Um, we have this group of people that has a very unique skill set, and we need to work on that with people and, and build up their confidence. People want to be given opportunities, and that's what we've been able to do through this partnership is give people opportunities, give people safety, give people some sense of solidarity and community. That's what we're trying to do. It provides them a sense of belonging and that's really the first step in being able to address some of these complex issues surrounding, uh, you know, previous trauma and adverse childhood events. Justine and team have responded to and prevented more than 600 overdoses in, in the CTS, which is massive. And when you look at over the course of, of COVID and the drug poisoning crisis, our jurisdiction is one of only two that did not see an increase in, over, in, in, in sometimes dramatic increases in overdoses. Justine and the ICH team is making change in terms of attitudes and stigma in our community, which it's a long road. We get that. There's lots of room to grow and continue to build on this, but a massive foundation has been set. I've witnessed firsthand the care and compassion that they provide to clients every day, and this award is truly well deserved, and you have my eternal gratitude for doing the work that you do. When you go in there, you feel it. It's a vibe, it's a feeling, and it's and they're they're literally saving lives because people trust them with their lives. So I, I believe that the staff at the CTS and the Integrated Care Hub, Hub are simply heroes. This award is about my team and their commitment. And this award is really for the people that we serve um, because they have supported us uh, when nobody else did. Um, they have taken care of us when nobody else did. Um, and I just want to tell them 
but I'm thankful and I'm grateful. And this is basically a love letter to you.